G'day reefers, I'm Captain the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're at one of our favorite reef tanks, Magic Mountains. We're gonna be having a look at this tank and in particular, we're gonna be looking in detail at exactly how much it costs to run. The first thing we have to mention is that Magic Mountains is far from your average reef tank. It's an absolutely huge tank. It's nine feet long, three feet wide, four feet high. It holds over 4,000 liters uh, in total with the tank and the filtration system. And there's a huge amount of coral. You can see we've got lots of stony coral. And so with the amount of coral and the size of the tank, some of the figures that we'll talk about are really quite extravagant. These corals consume a heap of supplements, a heap of nutrients, and it, it really does take a lot of supplementation to uh, keep this tank running the way it is. There's other factors that really make this tank a bit of a, a unique example. So with the figures that we give you, just bear in mind that that is for this tank, which is really a, a big extravagant aquarium. We're gonna break down the costs of running this tank into a variety of categories. The first category we'll talk about is the supplementation of Magic Mountains. We use Triton on Magic Mountains and the, probably the main reason why we use it is because it does give amazing results. But as a side bonus, it is particularly good value. Uh, one packet of this mixes up 16 liters of supplements and it covers all of the elements required for a healthy reef tank. Um, and as I said, uh, Magic Mountains does have a huge amount of coral, lots of fast growing corals, which assimilate these elements very quickly. So each of these packets are $169 and we, uh, one of these packets lasts about two months. So each year we need six of these, uh, works out to be around about $1,000 per year. Now, we also supplement the Coral Essentials uh, CV uh, CVE plus. Now that run, uh, lasts about the same amount of time as the, the Triton does. We get about two months out of this. Now this is probably the most extravagant thing that uh, we put into this tank. Um, it is a particularly good supplement and we've been using it lately to really uh, give better coloration and growth with the corals. Um, so we use these, as I said, this last couple of months. So about six of these per year. Uh, they're $250 each. So you're looking about $1,500 per year. Now you can certainly argue that there are cheaper ways to go about uh, adding amino acids and, and similar products. Um, but the CVE Plus really is an excellent product and I think it's money well spent on this tank. Now let's have a look at the next category, the food for the fish and corals. Magic Mountains is fed a variety of frozen and dry foods for the fish and the corals. Now the main thing that is fed is frozen mysis. Uh, some brine shrimp is sometimes mixed in, but using these flat packs does reduce the cost a little bit. And given how much goes into the tank, uh, the flat packs are the best option. So we go through one flat pack per month. So we're looking at 12 per year, which works out to be around about $300 of frozen foods per year. Now the dry food is typically the Vitalis pellets. And um, this is one of the larger sizes, 260 grams, about $60, and probably gonna go through two of these per year. So $120 on the dry food for the fish. 
Now, throughout the year, the corals do get a variety of foods. And at the moment, we've got the two little fishies, uh, Zooplan and Phytoplan going into the tank. And these are $30 each roughly. And so we'll probably go through about six um, like packets of coral food per year. Um, so that works out to be about $180 roughly on coral foods. But this is something that does vary throughout the year. So uh, with a lot of these uh, figures that we're giving, uh, they are sort of a rough idea. And sometimes we feed frozen coral foods and uh, liquid coral foods, and that can affect the cost slightly. So let's look at the next category. So the filtration system on Magic Mountains really doesn't require a lot of replacement types of media. And uh, we don't really replace it often either. And really the only two things that we do replace, we have a small section that we use floss and the, the Simec is the one that we normally go for. We only use a couple of these per year. Uh, these are $35 each. So it, it's only about $70 per year with the floss. It's something we probably should replace a little bit more frequently, but uh, the refugium in Magic Mountains really does take care of the bulk of the filtration and th this really isn't particularly important. The other thing that we replace with the media is uh, Roafoss. Now we have a reactor in the filter of Magic Mountains down, downstairs and uh, we, we usually have the one kilo size of the roller foss. We don't normally have the small one. And the one kilo size goes for about $105. And we probably don't you replace it as frequently as we should. Um, we'd go through at least two per year. And so we're looking at around about $200 per year for phosphate reduction with our reactor and the roller foss. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is a much more expensive thing to replace um, the serviceable parts, and that is the UV sterilizer system. This is our UV sterilizer system. We have two 150 watt uh, Pentair UV sterilizers, and uh, they, they really do an amazing job on Magic Mountains, but they're a, an item that does need to have the, uh, the bulb inside them replaced every 12 months. And each of these bulbs is $300. So we're looking at, for our UV sterilizer, $600 per year to ensure that they're putting out the right amount of UVC to keep the fish safe from disease. Another cost that we have for Magic Mountains is to produce our RODI water. Now, we use the RODI water, which is basically filtered water, it's very pure. We use it to top up into Magic Mountains to ensure that we keep the salinity right. Of course, we lose water through evaporation, uh, fresh water through evaporation, and the RO filter is used to replace that water. Now, the RO filters have a series of um, cartridges and I was hoping to show you, but it's kind of in a, an awkward position around the corner here, but each of these filters needs to be replaced on a regular basis. Um, we replace the, uh, the resin, uh, the sediment trap and the carbon roughly every uh, six months or so. And so uh, each of these co well, combined, it's about $80 to replace these three sections of the RO filter. So each year, we're spending about $160 to keep the RODI water, um, the cartridges up to date and ensuring that there's uh, no contamination going into Magic Mountains through our RO filter. The next category we're gonna talk about is the maintenance on Magic Mountains. Now, the maintenance really is in two parts. First of all, being professionally maintained by myself, we have a time fee, uh, a labor fee that we, we charge. Now we're gonna look at that at the end of the video, but the other part to the maintenance or the servicing of this tank is the water change. Now, even though we're running Triton and we've got a strong refugium, we do actually water change this tank every week and we use quite a large amount of water. In fact, we often water change up to 1,000 litres, uh, 250 uh, gallons roughly, um, every single week. And so there is a cost associated with that water. So we're looking at around about $100 per week of water that's being used for Magic Mountains. So that equates to $5,000 per year. We use natural seawater, and so that does reduce the, the cost of the water. 
And um, potentially if you're using artificial uh, seawater, you, uh, you might not water change as frequently, being more expensive. We do have the luxury uh, where we're located, Southeast Queensland, of being able to have access to very good quality natural seawater that really helps with, with this tank. So water changing is something that we do, but is not necessarily something you need to do with, with all tanks. So let's have a, a look at the next category which is the testing regime that we do on Magic Mountains. So as I mentioned, we do weekly maintenance on Magic Mountains. And as part of the, the weekly maintenance, we always test the water. So we typically use our spin checker or we use our Cellophot test kits or anything like that. And so we're checking for the basics. We do calcium, KH, magnesium, uh, nitrate, phosphate, uh, salinity, pH, so that sort of thing. However, we also do regular ICP tests. And so we use the Triton ICPs and we do this every, roughly every quarter. So about four times per year, we send off uh, an ICP test so that we can verify the testing that we're doing manually as well as uh, checking that the trace elements are right. So these are about $65 each. Uh, we do four per year. So we're looking at roughly $260 a year uh, on ICP tests. So let's have a look at the next category. The last category we're going to look at is the cost of the electricity. And Magic Mountains does have a huge number of devices running on it. As you can see, we have eight Hydra 52s and 64s. Uh, we also have wave makers, there's four large wave makers. We've got a, a huge amount of temperature control. There's a large chiller downstairs. There's uh, 900 watts of heating. Uh, there's all sorts of devices that contribute to the power use of this tank. Now, the power is certainly one of the most difficult things for us to get any sort of feel on, on what the, the, it's costing. And there's a variety of things that can affect the amount of power that's being used and temperature being the, the biggest one. So we're really just going to have a bit of a, a, a guesstimate. Um, and my, I'd be thinking that the, the power use on uh, at Magic Mountains is around about uh, three to $500 per quarter. So if we talk about, you know, in the middle of that, so $400, that works out to be uh, $1,600 per year that you would sort of expect to pay on a, uh, a tank like this. And, and the, the other factors that will con, uh, contribute or change the, the exact amount that you're paying are things like the, the actual cost of your electricity, and that, that can vary, of course, uh, as well as whether or not you run solar power and, and a heap of other factors. So we're really just using this as a bit of a, a guide to give you a feel for the total costs that you can expect a tank like this um, to, to cost per year. So uh, we're down to the last category. Let's check it out. The last category we're gonna talk about is the professional maintenance costs on a tank like Magic Mountains. Now we have specifically left this to last so that we can look at the maintenance cost separate to the running costs and all of the uh, consumables. Now, depending on the exact type of contract that you have with a, a service provider of aquariums, it, it's going to vary in the amount that uh, you're paying for the actual labor costs. Uh, and with this tank, because we provide all of the equipment, uh, the fish and the corals, uh, all the consumables, the fish food, that sort of thing, um, we do uh, a, a package deal. And so uh, effectively the, the labor costs on this tank are around about $200 per week. Now, this is a weekly uh, service fee. And so roughly for the year, you're looking at around about $10,000 for the maintenance on this tank. Now we've looked at all of the consumables uh, for Magic Mountains, all the food, that sort of thing. And that comes to around about $10,000 as well. So potentially you could halve your cost for the, the for running of this tank if you were to do the, the servicing yourself. Having an 
epic reef tank in your home is something that a lot of people would absolutely love, but it certainly does come with a cost. And so, as we've said, the consumables on a tank like Magic Mountains are gonna be around about $10,000 per year. And if you wanted to have it professionally maintained, you're looking at probably another $10,000 per year. Now, these are very rough figures. And of course, we don't wanna put anyone off with the costs. And you can have a much cheaper tank if it was smaller, if you were less extravagant with your coral choice, and if you're willing to do a lot of the things yourself. There's a million other ways you can cut down the costs of a reef tank. And as we said at the start, Magic Mountains really is a very unique tank. And with that comes a unique set of costs. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video on the expenses of running a tank like Magic Mountains. And hopefully we haven't put you off in any way whatsoever because reefing is a great hobby and you can do it a lot cheaper. But that's our video for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.